uh, the, it, the various magazines that I, I think a lot of people don't know about, uh, and, and that is Michael received so many books uh, and, and uh, magazines from all over the world. And a lot of the so-called Playboy magazines were magazines that he received from others, not that he went out and bought them. Thank and you. so he had a huge library of all sorts of books, classical to children's books. I mean, he had a, a library that was bigger than a public library. And uh, in addition to 70 sheriffs who went out to get Michael, the amount of evidence we had in this case was bigger than any huge a federal case you can even get. And for us, it, handling Michael's case was handling like 100 cases all at once. Documentary evidence, audio, video, and the live witnesses. We prepare for over 500 witnesses in Incredible. that case. It was Incredible. really, really monumental. And that's what it took for the entire Santa Barbara County to go after Michael. And they only proved that they were wrong and they were outrageous in going after somebody as innocent as Michael. And one thing I have to say about Michael, and I'll end quickly, is that quite frankly, no question he was a big name and still is. Superstar, yes. Who's bigger than Michael? No question. Who's more talented and gifted than Michael? Probably nobody. But you know why he was so special? Aside from all that, underneath it all, he was so decent yeah. and so modest and humble. And a lot of celebrities you okay. come across, they suffer from narcissism. They think they're entitled to everything. Well, there are a lot of people, not just celebrities, but people with money, fame, or perceived money and fame. It's unfortunate people are that way, but you know, I wouldn't be sitting here uh, and talking to you if Michael was a horrible person. Who cares if he was famous and big? If he was a jerk, not a nice person, but he really was a f really, really nice, Thank decent you. person. You're right. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right.